Well, this is the Retroish Gaming Critic, and for my first Let's Play, I thought I would go through Star Trek The Next Generation for the Genesis. And here it is. And there you had the introduction to Star Trek The Next Generation. Now, as is obvious, it was based on the incredibly popular series that started in the late 80s. And this Let's Play is going to be somewhere between informational and nostalgic, because... I have played the ever-loving heck out of this game. I have, so I I haven't. Now I haven't played it for a while, but I played it so much that I remember most of it, including a few ways to make the game that much easier for you. <coughs> now, just to start it off, I guess as you can see in the bottom left, there's what's supposed to be data. I always wondered who that was supposed to be on the on the bottom right. There's some random con ensign or... Well, who knows? Anyway, let's give you a quick tour of the, the bridge. Just saw the communications section where whenever you receive an incoming message from um, a planet, the starbase, whatever, this is the screen you will want to go to. Now... I'll show you the details in a minute, but when you want to move from place to place, this is where you want to go, the con. Again, I'll show you, show you the details in a, in a moment. Now, over here are the sensors, which aren't the most useful. They're, they're mainly mainly just just there to add a little bit of depth really um, 
that's about it. You won't really find them, find this section too helpful. It's still nice to have, though. It, it, it adds, again, just that little bit of depth. The computer is where you can spend a lot of time. Um, there's so much to read, so much information they crammed in here. Let's, let's just give you a quick look. See? Did you see how many submenus we had to go through to get to this? See, this is, there, there's a lot of information. There's a ton of information. A lot of which won't be strictly quote unquote necessary to play the game. But if you're a Star Trek fan, or if you're tired of doing the, the if you're tired of, of following the story and you just want to see what's here, there is a lot here. These top four, the sciences, cultures, alien vessels, and enterprise, are just information for you, the the player, um, including uh, short bios for the bridge crew. Now, the mission log is where you would save your game or load your game up after you save it, just to just to show you. That's because I'm playing on an emulator, but that is what you, you would do. Now, engineering is where you will be spending a lot of time. When you're on the bridge, this will be where you spend at least half of your time. This is your basic resource allocation screen. Um, the resources, that blue bar there in the middle next to the word resources, conveniently enough, are well your resources they are the as as your shields weapons so on and so on and so on get damaged the more resources you devote the quicker they will be fixed now the reason why shields weapons and engines have the green tab and the rest don't is because they have sub menus now as you can see for the shields we can focus on just, say, the forward shields and the aft shields. That's great if you want to it's great if, 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 if you're in the middle of a battle and they are hammering your, say, your forward shields. <clears throat> or you can plan ahead Put all these resources into, into forward shields and go straight at the, the enemy. Same thing with the weapons, same thing with the engines. Now, in the middle of a battle, these top four shields, weapons, engines, and life support are going to be your primary concern. If the transporter gets completely destroyed, oh well. If the computer gets completely destroyed, meh. You can survive any battle. But. The battles later on will not be easy. So you may have to run. Which is where you'd also want to perhaps... Put safety resources into navigation beforehand, maybe, or or that sort of thing. Um, the, the early battles, especially, you can just dump some resources into into these, and you, you'll mostly be fine. Um, in fact, it's a good idea to do that anyway. Just to keep them. Let's see here. Oh, wrong button. Now, 
Now, I tend to go for surviving the battle, which usually means winning the battle. So, you're not going to be using your warp while in a battle, so I don't even worry about putting the resources into that. I tend to dump those into, into impulse. Now, well, let's do a little there too for the heck of it. For weapons, you're going to use all of them, so a little bit everywhere doesn't hurt. Um, beyond that, I also like to put some in the hole. And then. That's really it. That should do you. We'll see how it goes. And, uh. Let's see. Transporter. When you beam down to places, and you'll be doing this a lot too, this is where you'll go. You choose four crew members. As you can see on the bottom, each have their own strengths and weaknesses. Um. But. There are a couple that aren't mentioned here. For example, it only really comes up once. Twice. Twice. It comes up twice. But, <coughs> Data, being an android, and Jordi LaForge, highlight, highlighted here, because he has that visor, they can both uh, see beyond the normal human range of vision. Forgot where I was going there, sorry. Anyway, that comes in handy in two places, which we will get to. And Deanna Troy being an empath, which means she can sense the emotions of most other creatures. She comes in handy later too, which we'll get to as well. Now, aside from your main cast from Jean-Luc Picard on, on down to Dr. Crusher you have these peons they're really just there to be fodder um, as you can see none of them with a close exception here and there are anywhere near as useful as the main crew but but anyway, that's that's their that's what they're 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 there to be fodder. <coughs> now, the, the the ready room is where you can go if you want to basically figure out where you're going. It's well, we'll we'll get to that too as it as it comes. But that is that. Next time, friends, we are going to set a course, but not for Coda's new. See you then.